So Red Flag is a joint international major flying exercise. So it means we take in squadrons of aircraft from all over the world. We take them all together and we build a scenario where they have to integrate and then fight as a team. Not just fighters, but we'll take in tankers, we'll take in mobility aircraft. We also bring in all the maintenance, all the support, all the logistics, also all of our intel, and we have ground parties out there on the range as well. We are in a unique situation up here in Alaska, right? We're isolated up here. There's a lot of space. I mean, several hundred miles of J Park for them to operate in. And that also simulates some of the real world considerations. It really brings in all domains of warfare. We set up scenarios in order for those participants to achieve those scenarios, they have to work together. So the Australians, very, very close ally. Now they are integrating into this flag. This is the first time at Red Flag Alaska we've had Marine Corps F-35s and then also integrating with our Isleson-based Air Force F-35s and the Navy Growlers and the Australian Hornets that are up here as well. The main aim that the Royal Australian Air Force has when they come across here to an exercise like Red Flag is to explore and understand how we integrate with coalition partners like the United States of America to exercise long distance deployments. So for us to come all the way across the other side of the Pacific is quite a challenge. So for us to exercise that, to work on integration with our coalition partners and continue to develop our combat capability are massive outcomes for us. Uh, but we're also taking away a lot of learning points as we go. Big picture with this, especially with having the Australians up here and working with them, is it just uh, that coalition aspect is so important in terms of the international environment of today. That piece of it, where we actually learn how to integrate with our allies to achieve a common objective, I don't think that can be overstated in how important it is in today's environment. And uh, that is one of the great things about specifically Red Flag Alaska and how it integrates into the Pacific region.